Welcome to Techno with me. Today we'll create a free or no API required RDG using locally stored Llama 2. So let's get started. First, we need certain PIP packages. These are the PIP packages. Let's get create a Python file. This Python file will have few components. It will read and load the PDF file which is stored in my framework and then it will talk to that PDF file using the LLM. Everything is in my local and no API is required over here. So we'll first import few libraries. We need the document loaders libraries. Document loader libraries as we are talking to PDF. So we'll import pi PDF directory loader over here. And then we'll need the text splitter. So we'll import langchain text splitter recursive character text splitter. Then we'll import our embeddings for, we need the embedding for RDG, right? So we'll import that one. And then we'll import our vector store. Let's import vector store. Here we'll use face. Face is the meta vector store, DB. And then after that one, we'll import C transformer. C transformer is used a Python. This is a Python binding which can talk to Py LLM. And then we'll import a conversational chain, retrieval chain, through which we'll chat with the document. As I said, very first, we'll map the PDF file. So loader. PDF directory loader and then point to the data folder. Inside data folder, we have a PDF folder where the file is located. So add a PDF over here and then load the document. Now, once it is loaded, we need to split the document. Split the document using recursive character text splitter which split the entire document into sentences with a chunk size of 500. You can use any chunk size. I am using chunk size 500 and chunk overlap 0. Then split the entire document. After splitting, we will embed it. Embedding is nothing but convert the entire split into a number format so that LLM can easily identify the near near text and then generate the or generate the answers from your document first the db face path you can put any db face path and then we'll call hugging face embedding here we'll use sentence transformer model and this is in cpu so let's write that particular piece of code Once that is done, we'll use face library here. We need this, just point it out, that would need, we'll need the capital F-A-I-S-S. Okay, we'll use the text and the embedding. And then we'll save this entire the document and embeddings into the vector DB. So once we run this particular program, it will split the document, create the embedding into our own local framework with a vector store new path. Now we'll talk to the LLM. So we need the local LLM setup. This is the local LLM downloaded. We'll, we'll create the LLM with C transformer. The parameters is required. <laughs> model, the model that we are going to use over here. So let's copy the name and put it over here.
and this is a llama and the token number we are going to use you can put anything i think maximum token it allows for 095 and temperature 0 0.5 anything between 0 to 1 you can use as a temperature then we'll build a conversational chain chain and conversational retrieval chain from llm the parameter will do llm and then db as retrieval which is nothing but the phase db from this phase db it will retrieve the information and it will give it to the conversational retrieval chain so that answers will get generated for the query and you can add the source document as a true or false let's create a logic to ask the question we'll take the user input ask a question to the document and we can have a logic to quit that particular chat if user enter exit or quit we can stop that particular chat and then we'll call the chain with the query and the chat history also we are going to show to the user we'll print the one we can definitely use streamlit or any other ui i prefer streamlit i will create other video for the streamlit one but let's just for a starter let's use the terminal to display the answer that's done so we'll just finish this chat history append why so this is the import part and then this is split this is embedding this is llm setup this is conversational retrieval chain and this is our logic to ask the question let's improve increase the token Let's run the program. Yeah, you can see summarize the document. The document was about the computer architecture. So it is built to summarize the document. Let's ask another question. What are the different type of memories in computer? I know it's there in that particular document. See, answer came. There are mainly three types of memory. So it's done. Thank you for watching.